going on, man? It's your boy Mike H back again with another one. You know, looking all rough. Look at this shit. Anyway, man. <clears throat> hope y'all having a good morning. Man, don't let anybody steal your joy this morning. These people here, bro, I'd say. Like, I already had a rough morning, man. So, I got into it with somebody because these motherfuckers wanted to use my car without even telling me. Yeah. So, they made plans. They talk about the plans that they need to make. Talk about the date they need to have the plan, but won't ask you to use your vehicle. Fuck they think they talk. What they do that at? So, when the person brought the shit up to me today, that they need to use my car, like, when the fuck did we talk about that? Well, I told you I had to go to the doctor. Give a fuck? Okay, yeah. You gotta go to the doctor. What do they gotta do with me, though? Well, didn't the last time you told me you were going to the doctor, you was gonna take a lift? Yeah. Okay, then. So I'm expecting you to take a lift. If you need to use my car, or you need to speak up, ask me, can you use my car? Don't assume that you're gonna use somebody else's shit. So, once I made that known, I became the bad guy again. If you don't know, Mike the bad guy, Harris. Always, forever, probably. But anyway, like I said, once I made that known, like, you need to fucking ask before you, you assume anything. Oh, don't cuss at me. Give a fuck. Well, I cuss at anybody I want to cuss at. You don't cuss at me. The fuck you gonna do about it? Like, you can't expect respect once you disrespect somebody. And I haven't brought up the conversation of the total disrespect. Like, okay, I'll bring it up right now. Lying to me, to my fucking face, is complete disrespect. Once that shit is out, you never gonna get the respect again unless you earn that shit. And that shit is not gonna be easy. At all. So, once you disrespect me, you better make sure you try to earn that shit back. Or you're gonna get nothing but disrespect for the rest of the time I know you. And that's how I rock. So, we already on a disrespectful plane right now. So, when you ask to use my shit, or assume to use my shit, you, we, if we ain't communicating, how you gonna assume to use my, my car? Second of all, when I bring up the conversation of you needing to ask, how are you going to catch your attitude about the words that I choose to use? We, we already, like, it's clear as day that you were disrespectful to me. We established that you are an untrustworthy person. You lying directly to my face multiple times and, and within a, a day or two, multiple lies about multiple situations. And then you expect me to be all nice and get it to you when I talk to you. Now, fuck that. You done, you done broke that bridge. So, te technically, right now in my life, I got everywhere I look, emotional attachment, physical attachment, and I can say another emotional attachment. Kids, mom, mom, kids, mom. All three of these motherfuckers continuously lie to me to my face. They all continuously lie to me to my face. And you expect me to be the utmost responsible, respectful person to you. You are a disrespectful person. You're going to get disrespect. That's the way I rock. You want me to be respectful to you? Everybody who know me on a personal level, no, I can make you with respect. And once you piss me off, you don't piss me off. But I'm not going to sugarcoat anything to, for your feelings. Because your feelings don't matter to me at all no more. If you can lie to me to my face, you don't care about nothing that goes on in my life. That's how I take it. And it's not no, I'm not talking about just no simple lie like, did you eat the chips? Yeah. No, I mean, no. No, nah, no, that sneaky lie. The way you betray somebody lying. That's the kind of line I'm talking about. How am I supposed to trust you again once you betray me? I will never give you the opportunity to get to, again to betray me. I will never turn my back on you again to where you can stab me in it. Fuck all that. You lost your chance. So that's the level I'm at right now. And everyone keeps making it seem like I'm the bad guy. I'm the bad guy. I don't give a fuck what you think. I really don't no more. You call me the bad guy. I'll take that shit. But I bet you're you going to feel You're going to know one goddamn thing. You're going to cross me no fucking more. So like I said, y'all, don't let other people steal your joy. You see, mine is halfway gone already. You know, but like I said, y'all enjoy y'all day. What today is? Wednesday, uh, what, 5th or some shit like that? 6th? I don't know. I don't give a goddamn. <laughs> but anyway, man, I just want to spit that. I just want to show y'all, man. Don't let nobody see your joy. Even though that person being disrespectful to me, I'm still going to try to make sure that person be successful in life. Just don't ask me for no extra favors. If I say I'm going to do something for you I'm already, that I said I'm going to do, regardless, I'm going to do it. Until you find somebody else to replace that spot. But like I said, I'm a man of my word. You just ain't one of yours. A woman of your word, man of your word, whatever the fuck you want to put it. But I'm going to do what I said I'm going to do. Always and forever. You know what I'm saying? Loyalty is a big thing to me. But betrayal, I don't, I don't tolerate that shit at all. 
we gotta fix that shit. You know what I'm saying? If I betrayed somebody out there, let me know what I did to you to betray you. Nah, never mind, don't do that. Sorry, man. Mike H out.